Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you just joining us, my name is Alfred, and this is Capital City Aquatics. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at what I do to uh, do weekly maintenance on one of my tanks. The tank we're going to be focusing on today is my 55-gallon uh, Blue Moscow tank. Um, it is in need of a, a cleaning and water change, and I'll just uh, take you through the steps that I do um, on a weekly basis here in the fish gallery to uh, clean up my tanks. Alright, so here we have my 55-gallon Blue Moscow tank. I have a mix of male and females in here, um, adults, juveniles, and fry. And as you can see, it's in need of some work. There's some green algae on the glass and uh, it's due for a water change and uh, just uh, some overall weekly maintenance. And uh, I'll take you through uh, how we're gonna start. All right, so first thing I usually do with um, my weekly maintenance, if I'm noticing that there's algae on the glass is I'll get uh, either my algae scrubber here or the magnetic one that I have and I'll uh, start by removing the green algae from the glass surfaces of the tank. So for this one I'm going to just show you how I use my magnetic algae scraper and uh, we'll get that set up and uh, I'll show you how it works. All right, so there we go. I just have the magnetic um, scraper locked in place. There's a, obviously the front and the back, and you can see here, that's the side, or that's the scrubbing surface that'll remove the algae. And it works basically just like a magnet. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just remove the algae here from the front surface of the tank. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna remove uh, as much of the algae from the front of the aquarium as we can. So you just go in straight lines. I like to go from side to side and you just remove the algae. It's quite simple. Try not to disturb the fish too much, but I've done this in these tanks quite a few times, so my fish are used to it. And you just go back and forth, removing as much of the green algae as you can. If you get some stubborn spots, you can go over it a few times, and you'll notice an immediate improvement on the front of your glass. Okay, so after you've uh, removed the algae with your algae scrubber, um, next thing you wanna do is check um, inside the tank to see how your plants um, are looking. If you're noticing that there's any um, algae on the plants, hair algae or anything like that, um, and you might want to uh, address that issue next. So I'm going to just quickly look over here, my java mosses and my ferns and uh, my hardscaping material, uh, just to double check to see um, if there's any nuisance algae that's starting to form on those. All right, so you'll notice there's a little bit of algae here on my driftwood. And then a little bit more here on my uh, java moss. Nothing that I'm too worried about right now. Um, I plan on adding a few of my bristlenose plecos in this tank um, in the next week or so. So that should uh, then help with the algae. Um, I did only remove it from the front glass of the tank. So if there's some on the back glass or the sides or anything like that, 
um, my plecos will in, uh, in turn get rid of that for me. So the next step after that would be to go ahead and uh, do a water change. So that's um, what I'm going to set up next. Okay, so the next step um, that I look at is doing a water change. So to help me with that, I have my Python system here. I have the, uh, the longer vacuum part because uh, it is a bit of a, a deeper tank at the 55 gallons. You can see there. So I go ahead and uh, I'll just do my, uh, my gravel vac now. All right, so let's get that started. All right, so after you've gone ahead and removed um, some of your water, usually anywhere between uh, 10 to 20 percent of the tank is recommended on a, a weekly or bi-weekly basis, depending on your routine. So I have lowered my tank water down to here. It was right up at the top, so um, that should be a good... Uh, limit for me for my week. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and add some water to the tank. I'll condition it to make sure that it's safe for my fish and then I will give them um, a quick feeding just after everything is done and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll uh, just add the, uh, the new tank water again with the Python system I uh, have it connected directly to my faucet here, so it's uh, quite uh, quite simple, but I'll get that added. All right, so there you can see I have the water going into my tank through my Python hose, and that'll fill up the tank. Um, I'll condition the water with the Seachem Prime, and that uh, that'll be it for my maintenance on this tank and then like I said I'll uh, just give them a quick uh, meal after this and uh, this tank will be done so when you're running um, a fish room with several tanks having the Python system I find saves me a lot of time um, I could have done an auto water change system on my tanks, but uh, that would have been um, a more complicated setup for me. So I'm just going with the Python system and uh, I do my weekly water changes on my tanks like this and uh, I quite enjoy it. It makes it easier for me than dragging buckets of water. And this is just uh, my Blue Moscow Guppy tank. Um, I have uh, some new fry in here and uh, males and females swimming around doing their thing. Um, I have sold some of the plants out of this tank, some of my java moss, but I have more down here that uh, will over time grow out and uh, we'll just move forward uh, like that. My java ferns here are doing quite well on the, uh, the hardscape I have. And everything in this tank seems to be uh, be doing quite well. All right, so here we go with the Seachem Prime. This is what I treat all of my tanks with. Um, I've been doing it for years. I've never had any real issues using Seachem Prime. I highly recommend it for someone uh, who's looking for a good product that's reliable. And I'll go ahead and treat this tank and then I'll uh, give them something to eat. All right, everyone, so I'm just gonna go ahead now. Um, I've got the tank clean, the lights are on, uh, fish are swimming around, the water's been treated. Go ahead now and give them um, a quick feeding of baby brine shrimp and some Tropica flake food. Um, 
And uh, that'll be it for the maintenance for this week on this tank. Um, I try and schedule it every other week, so I do a bi-weekly cleaning. Um, if it's warranted to do it on a more frequent basis, I obviously monitor and do that. But uh, as a rule of thumb, I try and do bi-weekly cleanings on uh, all of my tanks. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I certainly count on the support of my subscribers. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I come out with new videos. And definitely hit the like button if you like these type of videos. Um, I try and come out with informative videos um, as frequently as I can. And uh, look forward to hearing your comments if you have any. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.